there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of different cells in this world. In this video, we're going to explore the two main types of cells. To distinguish the two main types of cells, let's review cellular organelles. Here is a cell, and within this cell are smaller structures called organelles, and those organelles perform certain jobs. Now, some of these organelles, such as this mitochondria, have their own membrane and are said to be membrane bound. So not only does the cell itself have a plasma membrane, but some organelles like the mitochondria, lysosome, nucleus, ER, Golgi body, they get their own membranes. There are other organelles, however, like the ribosome, that do not have membranes. They are not membrane bound. A ribosome is really just a clump of proteins, an rRNA, nothing else. So that is useful in distinguishing the two main types of cells. Some cells are prokaryotic, some cells are eukaryotic. In general, prokaryotic cells are smaller, simpler, and they evolved earlier. And a common example is a bacteria. Eukaryotic cells, in contrast, are a bit larger, they're more complex, and thus evolved later. So now let's take a look at some details of those two types of cells. So unique characteristics of prokaryotic cells. If we look closely at this structure, this is a bacterium, we can see that there is a chromosome, a big circular lump of chromosome in the middle of the cell. There are no membrane-bound organelles. No nucleus, no chloroplast, no mitochondria, nada. There are, however, these little projections called pili, which are used to attach to surfaces. All have a cell wall for protection. Some have an additional layer called a capsule. And some might have a tail or a few tails called flagella for movement. Some will also have tiny loops of DNA known as plasmids. Prokaryotic cells divide in a slightly different way than eukaryotic cells. Here it is in a nutshell. Here's the parent cell. Basically it duplicates its one chromosome and then it splits in half. And this is known as binary fission. Fission means to split, binary refers to two. And this produces two identical cells. You might think this looks similar to mitosis, but it is not mitosis because mitosis involves division of the nucleus. A prokaryotic cell has no nucleus, thus it cannot do mitosis. All right, eukaryotic cells, unique characteristics. Here are two different eukaryotic cells. This is an animal cell, this is a plant cell, but some things they have in common are a nucleus, which contains the DNA, along with many other membrane-bound organelles, like the mitochondria, the lysosome, the endoplasmic reticulum, the chloroplast. Additionally, eukaryotic cells have their DNA arranged in multiple linear chromosomes. So in a moment, we're going to peek into this nucleus and see what that looks like. And finally, some eukaryotic cells, like plants, fungus, and algae, have cell walls. All bacteria have cell walls, but the cell walls are made of different materials. Eukaryotic cell division can take one of two paths, mitosis, to produce identical cells, or meiosis to produce genetically different sex cells, or gametes. Here in this diagram, you can see the difference between the DNA of a prokaryote and the DNA of a eukaryote. Again, a prokaryote's DNA is one big circular chromosome, and there's no nucleus containing that chromosome. In a eukaryote, in contrast, the nucleus is protecting the DNA, and the DNA is found in multiple linear chromosomes. 
So to sum up, let's talk about what those cells had in common. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes share certain characteristics. First of all, they all have a plasma membrane to control what gets in and out. They all have a fluid inside their cells called cytoplasm. Sometimes you'll hear this called cytosol. They all have DNA, although the DNA takes a different form. And they all have ribosomes to produce proteins. So that concludes our investigation of the two different types of cells.